It might surprise you to know that you don't have to be the best to succeed. When I was an 18 year old hairstylist, I worked alongside gentlemen from the West End of London in this very exclusive salon on the island of Jersey in the Channel Isles. These stylists could create hairstyles I'd never even seen before. But you know, they thought lunch hours were for eating lunch. I realized lunch hours were squeezing in three extra customers who couldn't come at any other time. One day my boss told me, Patricia, you bring in 30% more income for the salon than the other stylists. Those men were more talented, more experienced, and they were getting paid three times as much basic salary as I was. That's when I thought, where is tenacity and the ability to work hard going to pay off? Obviously for me, it was the colonies. When I arrived in San Francisco, my boss, Charles, ran the beauty salon at the Mark Hopkins Hotel. He told me he'd never seen anyone work like me. <laughs> in fact, as a hairstylist, he thought he could get me to go back to England and bring 28 of my friends over and he'd be a multi-millionaire. I told him, Charles, I've never worked with anyone who works the way I do. For me, I discovered that in America, stylists worked on 50% commission. No, sal no basic salary, no sick pay, no vacation pay. However, for me, that was a license to steal. So remember, you don't have to be the best. You do have to be more disciplined and have good work habits. And remember, consistently three extra clients makes 30% more income. Good luck.